Good morning everyone! Welcome back to Chris RD Gymnastic Music Sports Channel and today we are going to watch together the 2024! This is 2024 Italian National Spring Diving Indoor Championship. Yes, this is a spring championship wherein uh, here we have Antonio Volpe, uh, Matteo Cafero, Giovanni Tocci, Lorenzo Marsaglia, Stefano Bellotti, and Renato James are the contenders. And so let's enjoy and watch this 2024 um, Italy Spring National Diving Championship. And let's watch this all together. It, still, this is a road for 2000, Paris 2024. And of course, please comment down below your favorite divers here, aside from Stefano Bellotti, of course, our favorite. Thank you very much. Let's enjoy the sports. Let's enjoy the aquatic sports. And happy spring to all of you. These are the list of the divers. So we now have here our first diver. We go now for our proper competition. Renato James Calderaro on the springboard. Great job. I love his uh, vertical lines here. The pike position, wow, he improves a lot, but a little bit pike upon his entry. And our next diver, Antonio Volpe. Antonio Volpe, great to see Antonio Volpe. Volpe è di fatto degli otto finalisti quello con il programma di tuffi più semplice. Great pike position. And the entry is beautiful, beautiful in his uh, entry. A good vertical line. Oh, he improves a lot from 2022 to 2024, but the entry is a little bit pike. Antonio Volpe got 45.6. He needs to make more of the vertical lines upon the entry. We have here. No, this is not Stefano Bellotti. This is different. <laughs> they have a wrong teleprompter. <laughs> no, he's not at Stefano Bellotti. <laughs> they have a wrong teleprompter. They have a wrong teleprompter. They have to correct it. Or else they will have a wrong score. Yeah, Cafero. Ah, Francesco Porco. The entry is good, but a little bit pike also. Good spring. And the twisting is good, and the pike. And here you go, the entry. Minimal water splash. It will be a good score. Yeah, Francesco Porco. <laughs> Francesco Porco got 65.6, 7.0, 7.5, 6.5 are his scores. They, I commend the Italy here that they have a very good... It's great to see our... Oh, they are maturing now, our Italian divers. They have just a little bit problem with the teleprompter. Positioning on the back handspring, tuck positions. Great entry, but it's still the vertical lines. It needs to be more vertical because the entry is a little bit pike. The tuck position is good, entry, entry is beautiful. Uh, and please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share to Chris RD channel. Lorenzo Marsaglia, the, the veteran. 
This must be a... He will do a... Doppio Salto Mortale Oh, I forgot to translate it to in Italian English, okay, that's it. Lorenzo Marsaglia is now qualified for Paris 2024. This is just a practice for him. There are three meters synchro with Giovanni Tocci. Eh, Great sì. job. Vabbè, d'altronde eh, stiamo parlando di un atleta. It's a good job. Uh, the height is good. The position is good and a very good vertical line upon the entry. For Lorenzo Marsaglia. He got 66.65 for the first dive for Lorenzo. 7.0, 8.0, 7.5. scores. We got here Giovanni Tocci. Uh, representing Centro Sports AQA SD Coast. A uh, very good height and the fight position is good. Revolution is awesome. He did a double somersault and one half twist in forward pike position. Giovanni Tocci got 66.3 here. Matteo Santoro is also qualified for Paris 2024. 2.6 difficulty, 105B. Awesome job for Matteo Santoro. He did a double somersault with one half and forward bike position. Great pike position for Matteo Santoro and the vertical line is amazing. He did a very good he had a very good entry here. Matteo Santoro got 66.3 for the first round. Renato James Calderaro on the second round. He will do a uh, double frontal leap and one half twisting with the carpet screw. <laughs> I don't know carpet screw. Nice, amazing for Cadiraro. That's a very good twisting, but a little bit pike upon the entry. He need to work on more with that. Renato James Calderaro got 52.8 in the second round. Antonio Volpe now on the second round. 105B. Great job for Antonio Volpe. Quasi perfetti, quindi raggiungere la perfezione è sempre difficile. In questo caso era un buon doppio e mezzo avanti, leggermente lontano come parabola, soprattutto quando si fanno questi tuffi così facili, è anche facile giudicare l'imperfezione da parte della giuria. Antonio Volpe got 48.1 for the second round, 7.0, 6.5, E Stefano Bellotti, he's in great shape here. 205C, 3.0 difficulty. He will do a double somersault in one half, twisting in a back group position. He's a little bit bald now, wow. It was a very amazing entry for Stefano Bellotti. He is in a good shape here in compared to 2023 competitions. And it will be very beneficial to do the, all of the somersaults. He got 63.0. Great execution for Stefano Bellotti in the first round. A second round, I mean. Francesco Porco. 
Altro doppio e mezzo indietro. Yes, we have here as Francesco Porco on the second round. Della società Cosenza e delle Fiamme Oro. Doppia affiliazione come per quasi tutti gli atleti. They have problem with the prompter. Tak position is good, but he can work on more with his. Tak position is good, but there a little bit of leg leg separation. And we got here. Matteo Cafero, 5152B, 3.2 difficulty. He will do a double somersault with one half twisting in a, and one hole in pike position. Awesome, awesome entry. Però non è arrivato perfettamente in punta e l'ha schiacciato un po' troppo verso il basso, da sfruttare un pochino più l'altezza. That's amazing job for Cafero. 64.0. All right. Tocca Lorenzo Marsaglia. Uno e mezzo Lorenzo rovesciato. Lorenzo Marsaglia no. Rapidamente e mezzo, coefficiente 3. 5335D. 3.0 difficulty. Oh, he, he had an injury for Lorenzo Marsaglia. He's not in a good shape. Great job. Bravo, bravo, Lorenzo. He did a somersault in one half reverse leap with double twisting and one half free. Tutto in sicurezza, però l'atleta magari se ne accorge nella parte finale quando si sarebbe dovuto stendere e rimane leggermente cambiato. E lascia per strada qualche punto. Eh, sì. 63.0 for Lorenzo Marsaglia in the second round. Ho visto il coefficiente 3 di 63 punti. Vediamo come risponde Giovanni Tocci. Giovanni Tocci now on the second round on the springboard. 5152B, 3.2 difficulty. He will do a double somersault in one half twisting in the pike position. Wow, well, look at the height. Great height for Giovanni Tocci here. The pike position is good and amazing height. Wow, this must be a great job for Giovanni Tocci. He got 68.8. Fratelli Marconi. Matteo Santoro now on the springboard. 5152B, 3.2 difficulty. I think he is having a problem with his uh, ver uh, vertical lines upon the entry. A little bit pike upon the entry for Matteo Santoro. We now have here our next diver on red speed also. <laughs> oh, Lorenzo Marsaglia now on the springboard. 305C, 3.0 difficulty, double somersault and one half reverse group position. They have some problem with the videos here. Problem with the vertical lines, a little bit arc. The entry is its arc. He need to work on with that. Lorenzo is not in good shape here. Tak is good, see the entry. A little bit arc. His coach is a little bit irritated now. 63.0 for Lorenzo. Giovanni Tocci now. 205C, 3.0 difficulty. Matteo Santoro and uh, maybe they are just giving time, um, opportunity for other divers to be in the podium. <laughs> Great job, great job. 
sarei aspettato qualcosina in più nella parte finale Giovanni soprattutto se le rotazioni indietro rovesciato si sta andando molto The height is good and the top position is good A little bit of leg separation In questo caso è l'acqua Questo gli serve per aprire 58.5 for Giovanni Tocci in this round 58.50 al secondo posto a 13 punti e 40 da Belotto Matteo Santoro on the third round 107B 3.3 difficulty wow that's a masterclass for 3 pole somersault in one half twist one, 3 in one half somersault and forward pike position the pike is good and the revolution is nice and the entry is beautiful Matteo Santoro got 49.5 because of the arc a little bit arc and we have now have here our next diver Renato James Calderaro 205 205C 3.0 difficulty and he will do a double two and one half frontal leap in back group positions Calderaro has been diving in national championship also for the past uh, years Uh, the entry is a little bit arc and that needs to work on with you see top position is good the entry is arc it will cost him a lot in his execution score he can work with that 36.0 currently in the seventh position for Renato James Calderaro we got here Antonio Volpe, 305C, 3.0 difficulty. A bit away from the hurdle, he did a double, 2 and 1 half front, uh, somersault with reverse, good position. Yeah, the tack position is good and the reverse somersault tack position. Antonio Volpe got 63.0 here. Great to see our Italian diver Stefano, um, Stefano Belotti on the fourth round. 107C, 3.0 difficulty. Wow, his training is very evenable. He has a good result now. You can see he has a very good height and a fast revolution. We just miss his uh, red speed though. <laughs> it's not anymore wearing red. He did a 3 and 1 half somersault in forward in the group positions. Oh, he's also in a good shape here. Fifty two point five for the third round of Stefano Belotti. Francesco Porco now. 405C, 3.1 difficulty. Potrebbe provare ad avvicinarsi a Belotti. Avrebbe bisogno di 75 punti per affiancarlo, che difficilmente farà, ma intanto potrebbe comunque recuperare qualcosa. Oh, the height is not uh, enough for him, him to do a vertical line. Yeah, and also a little bit in the side of the hurdle. He wasn't able to form the vertic uh, to grab his hands for the vertical lines. He needs more height upon his somersault. 65.1, Francesco Porco. Matteo Caffiero now on the springboard. 205C, 3.0 difficulty. We are now in the fourth round. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share to this channel. Thank you very much. I think he has some injury in his uh, ankle. Wow, this is a very good one. 
Amazing job for You see the attack position is good but I think he needs more of a height, a little bit of a height Let's watch the score Mateo Cafero got 58.5 Great job for Mateo Cafero. We now have here Lorenzo Marsaglia on the springboard. Lorenzo Marsaglia, 205C, 3.0 difficulty. And he'll do a double somersault and one half back in group position. There's some little bit of technical issues here. I don't know. Where they're having some technical issues from the original source. Yes, good, that's a good one. Even in the video, there is some technical issues. Hope you're gonna forgive. Because this was just real life a while ago, 14 hours ago. Tuck position is good and a very good entry. So no more Italians <laughs> um, commentator. I will be the sole commentator now. Giovanni Tocci on the springboard. 305C, 3.0 difficulty. Wow, a very good height. And it's pretty amazing. He did a double somersault and one up reverse in group. Awesome job, awesome job. Stefani Velotti there on the side. Got 63.0 for Giovanni Tocci. Matteo Santoro now. The summer salt is good. A very good height. Very good vertical lines. No leg separations. Great form for Matteo Santoro. I commend his heights here. Very ready now for the Olympic. This coach is very happy. 75.0 for Matteo Santoro. Bellissimo for Renato James Calderaro now. 305C, 3.0 difficulty. Renato James Calderaro on the springboard. For the forward. Wow, Takpochi is good and a very graceful entry. He did a double somersault, two and one half somersault in reverse group positions. Stuck positions there and it's not group, it's stuck. Why he, he, they are telling he's her group? Stuck. 63 points here. We are just using here a Google Lens translate. I hope you forgive. Uh, there are some mistakes in the translation. Antonio Volpe now, 5T3D, 3.0 difficulty. Some like separation and also arc. I uh, know, Pike on the Panda entry. He did a. Wow, uh, he uh, landed on the bit left side of the hurdle. It will cost him a lot. A little bit disappointed of that. Some uh, tips from the coach. <laughs> he got 31.5 for Antonio Volpe. Stefano Belotti now. He is in very good shape here. 5-3-3-D, 3.0 difficulty. Wow, the twisting is good. Actually, he wasn't able to join the European Championship nor the World Championship, but he did very well here. He practiced a lot, and you see the result. In a very good shape, he worked hard a lot to his training, so you can see upon his stories in the Instagram. And you see the results, it's a very nice one. 72.0, he did a while ago, one in, um, two in one half summer salts, 
Yes. And we have here uh, Francesco Porco now. 107C, 3.0 difficulty. GS name or AQA enclosed club. Ops! One whole point deduction, hesitation. Better to hesitate than to go on with that. That is not sure for the positions. A little bit slippery, maybe. For Francesco Porco. See, uh, yeah, that's why he can have an injury if he will continue with that. Awesome job for Francesco Porco. Great one for the attack positions and the entry is amazing. 45.0 with a one whole point um, penalty. Matteo Caffiero now, 305C, 3.0 difficulty. We are now in the fifth round. With a double, two in one half somersault with reverse. I don't think it's group or tucked. Taking his time to do the 305C. Great tuck position, revolution is nice. A good extension of the body and legs. Strengthful core. Great tuck positions there, you see, and a very good entry. Good height also. You got 72, 72.0 for Matteo Cafero here. Lorenzo Marsaglia now on the fifth round. 107C, 3.0 difficulty. We do a three and one half somersault in group forward, three and a half somersault in group positions. Tuck position is nice, but the entry is. Um, why the entry is not that vertical? He is a little bit pike upon the entry. This is very unusual for Lorenzo. See, it's a little bit pike his entry. Maybe because of the pain in the finger. 58.5 here. Pilotti is still leading. Giovanni Tocci. Yes. Giovanni Tocci now with 107C. 3.0 difficulty. 3.5 forward somersault in tuck position. Still also a little bit pike upon the entry. A very good manifestation here. The height is good, beautiful, but a little bit side. This is not the prime dive of Giovanni Tocci. 76.5 is still good, but this is not the form that we are expecting for Giovanni Tocci. Matteo Santoro now on the springboard. We are watching the 1 meter springboard finals. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share to this channel. Thank you very much. Yes, I think a little bit lack of height for Matteo Santoro here. Just enough, but he is able to form the vertical line, grab his hands and form the vertical lines. 55.8 for Matteo Cafero. We now have here the amazing Renato James Cadiraro, 405C, 3.1 difficulty. Renato James Calderaro. Ultima serie Calderaro, doppio mezzo ritornato dal gruppato. Per quanto riguarda i primi quattro atleti, Belotti chiuderà con il doppio mezzo ritornato. Marsaglia con il doppio e mezzo avanti. Ah, the entry is something need to work on. Il doppio mezzo ritornato e Santoro 
You see the entry, he had a good tack position. Yeah, he just opened up there a little bit early. 38.75 for Renato James Calderaro. Antonio Volpe now on the springboard. 203B, 2.3 difficulty. Front fall and one half back and pike positions. Wow, it's good, it's clean, very clean dive for this difficulty. Yeah, nice one. He got 44.85 here for Antonio Volpi. Stefani Bilotti now on the springboard. On the sixth round, we are now on the sixth round. 405C, 3.1 difficulty. Representing Flame, Grail, Bergamo, Toffee Club. He'll do a double frontal leap and one half turn in tuck position. Wow. Great revolution, and the height is enough. He is really in his great shape here. He is in a prime condition. Just elegant, very elegant uh, executions. 75.95 for Stefano Bilotti. He improves now here. I hope he will be consistent. Francesco Porco. Francesco Porco chiude con il doppio mezzo avanti Carpiato. Oh, Sayang. Which a little bit of some off with the... Yeah, he was able to form the vertical line, grab his hands, and form an elegant vertical line upon the entry. Francesco Porco got 57.2. Yeah, we are now in the springboard, Matteo Cafero, 3.0 difficulty, 5-3-3-5-D. He do a somersault in one half reverse and double twisting in one half free. Wow, the twisting is amazing! Bellissimo for the twisting. A great, ex great execution. Great twisting and good vertical lines. Elegant entry. It's an elegant dive for Matteo Cafero. 63.0 here. That's Giovanni Tocci. And we have there Stefani Velotti. Lorenzo Marsaglia in the sixth round. 5152B. 3.2 difficulty. He did a double somersault and a half twist. Pike position. Yeah, he's in pain with his finger. Maybe he had a little bit of injury. I hope he will be fine. Nice one, nice one. Dovrebbero, potrebbero essere nella parte finale, però si perde le punte dei piedi. Ora in questo momento la giuria è, devo dire, abbastanza. Pike is good. Although he's diving well, but the this is not the prime of Lorenzo. He got 68.8 here. Not a prime dive for Lorenzo. I hope he got it fine because he's in pain. Giovanni Tocci, 405C, 3.1 difficulty. It's hard to dive when you are injured. He did a double frontal leap in one half, turned in tuck position. Tuck is good and a good entry, but I'm a little bit still skeptical of the entry, a little bit pike. Wow, amazing job, amazing. 
Giovanni Tocci gets 72.85 here. Matteo Santoro now. On the 6th round, 203B, 2.3 difficulty. Somersault in one half bike, back and bike position. Nice. It's a, it's a good dive, of course. Elegant. Safe dive for Matteo Santoro. Thirty-seven point ninety-five because of the low difficulty. This is the ranking, final ranking. Stefano Velotti for four hundred five point forty-five. Giovanni Tocci four hundred five point ninety-five. Lorenzo Massaglia three hundred eighty-five point forty-five. Matteo Cafaro oh three seventy-nine point one. Matteo Santoro three five six point fifty-five. Francesco Porco three five two point nine. And those are the ranking. This we have here some uh, bonus feature featuring the audience, the team, the team divers that we'll be seeing in the future, who will be competing for the Italy National Games. Have here also. He did well, but he has. This guy has a little bit problem with the form that he can work on with. There you go. Renato James Hadiraro. I will go with just Renato James in the video. 